All right, this is one more video, hopefully the final video, which is um, experimenting with the uh, new box Neo M8N GPS unit, shown right here. And the output of this uh, GPS unit from the PPS pin is um, a generated analog signal currently running at four megahertz. And that is, um, coming out of the PPS pin and it's going through 50 ohms into channel one on my scope, which is currently showing the waveform here. And um, on the left is the U-Blox U-Center software showing that the GPS unit currently does not have any satellites. So it is um, being controlled by its internal oven controlled crystal oscillator. And so the uh, time base as well as the frequency output is being controlled by the same time base, and that being the um, controlled crystal oscillator. So what I have here is a heat gun, and what I'm going to do is um, to demonstrate how the internal physical properties of the oscillator is what's controlling the frequency of the output waveforms. I'm just going to heat that up, so here we go. You can see that the frequency changed as it heated up and it's changing again as the oven controlled oscillator is doing its thing and trying to stabilize the temperature and you can see through this process that there's no no glitches um, no jitter in the waveform and that's because the same time base is being used to generate the waveform as being used to count the number of waves uh, waves per second so since the time base is one and the same, you don't get any glitches or jitter um, as you try to correct um, the frequency to match some other time base, uh, namely the time base that occurs when you get um, a GPS lock. And now you've got this externally controlled time base, if you will, the satellites kind of uh, playing against the, uh, the physical reality of the oscillator on board the uh, GPS unit, which is generating the sign or the the pulses out of the device. So what I'm going to do is come over here to um, U Center software, and I'm going to set up the connections to the satellites so that we can get uh, in sync with the satellites. And we'll watch that come. And we've got a satellite fix. Okay, so. And now I've got this uh, second channel, which is the output of this wideband signal generator. It is actually um, the one that's triggered on so that we can um, see whether or not there's any jitters. So I'm gonna modify the frequency of that waveform to try to get this to stabilize. There you go. And now you can see that we've got this jitter coming from the, the U-blocks and that's basically because the oven control oscillator is controlling the output frequency while the precision time based of the satellites is controlling how the cycles are counted um, to deliver the frequency that's requested currently for uh, four megahertz. And so let me do the same experiment with the heat gun and we'll see what happens with the waveform demonstrating that the Once again, you see that the frequency of the output is controlled by the physical properties of the um, oscillator on board the device. And so um, I think that conclusively shows that the reason for the jitter in the uh, case of the post GPS lock, once you have a GPS lock, um, the jitter occurs because there's a mismatch between the time base of the oscillator on board and the time base from the precision um, GPS time base from the satellites. But that was the point of this video, and um, hopefully that does um, help to clarify what's happening with the jitter.